reclamation. The sixth day brought upon new challenges. We watched as a Necron line formed, standing shoulder to shoulder approximately ten meters away from our line. Silence not heard since we made landfall was broken by the unending blaster fire. I trail off as the tech priest calls upon servitors to move cargo in the bays. Metal containers screech and scrape across the deck as they are dragged to the bulkheads. When the servitors finish, Palmiro and I watch as the tech priest start Lund and Monroe, moving each into the newfound space. Palmiro, listen. Listen to the engine roar. Hear the pulsing of the grav plates. How much more at ease they are. I stop moving for a second, allowing the young officer to use his senses better. Aye, he whispers. Learning the practices of the Mechanicus is just as important as reciting your orders and instructions. Turning my chassis to look at the overhead. The silence was broken by ground rumblings. One of the vanguard units spotted a Necron overlord using its techno-heresy to draw forth a large pillar of green and black. Lightning leapt from it, striking before us, reanimating the Necron dead. Forward! I ordered the line. Drawing blade and fury, we smashed into the foe. Charging forth, I crushed many beneath my feet lifting and crushing some with my claw. Palmiro looked over as I flexed my enormous claw. Relentless the enemy is, tireless as well. Many brothers formed an opening, hacking the opposition to pieces, allowing a squad of eradicators to blast away the pillar construct. Several volleys made easy work of it, Molten metal lay boiling on the ground. Marines laid waste to the Xenos scum. Moving past the smaller machines, I fired my incinerator at the Overlord. Quickly, a Necron with a shield took the brunt of the impact, obliterating it. While two more jumped on top of my carapace. Furiously, the bladed Lichguard drove their weapons into my right claw. As I tried to defend myself, I saw the Overlord stretching an arm out towards the direction of our defense. A weapon deployed from the Necron's wrist. A green glow flew towards our encampment. In a blur of light, the weapon penetrated everything in its wake, killing our brothers. As if the Overlord enjoyed murdering our brothers, it started shouting and shrieking in tongues unknown to me. Kyle could sense the anger in my voice as he leapt into the air to take flight, waving the banner. Sparks flew and anger filled my spirit. <laughs> filled with hate, I bellowed a cry that would wake the damned and dead. Ripping a lich guard off my arm and throwing it to the ground, just to stomp on it repeatedly. Punching another with my cannon, I took aim at the warlord from mere meters away. Once again deflected by a drudge, a blue smoke of heat and vapor clouded everything. Using this, I lunged forward, pinning the Xenos with the cannon and using what little movement I had left in my claw, I ripped apart the enemy, and threw its halves into the sea of Necrons. Upon this, the hordes, in a flash of green light, vanished from our sight. Abacus Kael stopped flying, and took a perch on my right shoulder. Taking a moment to gather myself, I continued, Brother! A firm, growling voice came from behind me. I shall recite a few more prayers to the Omnissiah. It was Andrim, a tech marine from the Second Company's armory. 
With quick but methodical diligence, he patched my right arm, ceasing the sparks and smoke. We shall not continue the engagement. Shore up our defenses and await orders from Captain Maximus. Aye, brother. A vanguard squad discovered this upon the Xeno. Andrum responded, holding up an imperial data pad. Present this to the War Council. I will be there in a minute. A data slate? What were the Xenos doing with it? What was on it? Palmyro inquired. Kael looked over toward our conversation. After a little debate, it was decided to activate the device. Andrum and Zebekiah blessed each of us. Captain, his lieutenants, myself, the equipment to be used, and even Kael himself. To ease the machine spirits knowing we meant only to understand its data. A servitor bearing a power generator was brought forth, connecting itself to the pad. The room was silent, a pause that lasted hours, waiting for the spirit to awaken. Softly, from my Vox speaker, I prayed, Canticum contate, et ex machina deo, nemo potest manire iter, fiat, Misericordia, predite, vidiantur, logice, uni ex machina deo pleceret te, nemo potest marire iter. Just as I was to repeat myself, Palmiro joined in, and together we prayed. Ah, I see you have spent time in the armory, I said. Slightly impressed. Finally, the machine spirit woke. With it revealed a series of codes. Cautiously, Andram picked up the device. It's locational data, about 380 kilometers south to southwest. He exclaimed, Captain, let me take a squad and investigate the coordinates. If the Necrons were hoarding such a device, it may contain something of great importance or resource. In agreement, Captain Maximus ordered a transport to take the 6th Squad, Andrum, and myself to the destination. Captain knew my curiosity would not be easily tamed. Once departed, we were to report our findings, if any. And... By the Emperor's grace, there was.